sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm sucking so bad. I think part of it is my focus is split, but I will get this. I have gotten it. It's embarrassing. What? Like, Hannes, where did you get that from? Like... I'm really worried, dude, about where you get some of your information from. That is not... That is not what happened in 2016. I have no idea where the anti -bur the Bernie MSNBC conspiracy theories Bernie does not run campaigns for media appeal. He runs campaigns to get this dedicated group of devoted followers. But he makes the same speech over and over and over again. And the reason Trump gets so much earned media... Like, I worked in news, okay? I'm not... This is how it works. You don't cover every rally. You don't cover every speech. You cover a speech when you think something new is going to happen. That's why it's called news. And so, the, the, okay, Bernie Sanders is very consistent. That's really good for rallies. But because he says the same thing over and over and over again, he does not get the same kind of news media that, uh, he does not get the same kind of earned media that somebody like Trump or somebody who's very gaff prone like Biden does. There is no conspiracy. That is the way the news works. And I mean, you really don't get more economically left in the news than MSNBC, which is why I think it's weird they're picking on them. Like, that's one of the things I really don't like about the Sanders camp, is that they are unfairly encouraging their supporters not to trust the media. And the problem with that, when it's unfair, is when, um... No, I said their hosts, Hans, not them as a company. People like Chris Hayes, Joy Reid, they're very, very lefty in their their economic positions. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't like this, don't trust the media, they lie thing, and then they go on the media and get interviewed for an hour, and they play the interview in its entirety, and yet they still tell people, don't touch, don't trust the press. If people aren't supposed to trust the media, why are you going on the media? I mean, Sanders says the news media is awful, and then he goes on Fox News. Fox News. No one from Fox News is going to vote for Bernie Sanders' economic policies. That's crazy. It's a waste of his time. And that just shows that somebody running the campaign is making some pretty major mistakes and then blaming external sources. I actually maintain that CNN is actually more DNC home turf. They have more uh, extremely connected pundits on uh, CNN. People like Donna Brazil and Paul Begala.
Oh, now you go down there. Oh! Oh, that's twice you've done that to me thing. Come on, spawn down here. Ugh. doing better there. See, I don't think CNN is mainstream. CNN have, uh... CNN has some very... They had guys like, oh, what the fuck's his name? Um... Well, they had, uh... They had some very... Rick Santorum! That's who I'm looking for. Rick Santorum is not mainstream. CNN is just all over the place. They have ratings. Like, I would say that somebody like, um, what's his name, Michael Steele, the, the former uh, chair of the RNC, Nicole Wallace, they are pretty middle-of-the-road moderate Republicans. I would argue that they their politics are more um, mainstream than a Rick Santorum or a Jeffrey what the fuck's his name? Jeffrey Lord. CNN is just create a circus for for ratings. But it's undeniable that, you know, Donna Brazil is regularly on CNN and Paul Begala is regularly CNN. And if you want to talk about an establishment, those are the sorts of people that that work there. Well, don't forget CNN is a is a Turner. It's Turner, right? Yeah. CNN is the one like cable news place that doesn't have um, doesn't have a mainstream local news affiliate. So they have to. They don't have the affiliates on the ground everywhere the way uh, uh, an NBC does. And so they they have to find a way to sensationalize. The nice thing about, you know, war coverage is you know where it's going to be. I wouldn't say anybody loves war, though. That's... Like, Chaos, I really worry about the people you hang around politically. Nobody loves war. No, I, I know people, I have friends who work for defense contractors. They don't love war because they don't, first of all, they don't make more money because there's a war. That money is spent long before the war starts. They, their belief, you know, and you can debate this if you want, but I do believe this is a sincerely held belief, that they make weapons that in the long term keep America and America's allies safe. It is not about killing people, it is about minimizing casualties by making war shorter. Now, like I said, you can argue that but not even defense contractors love war. The closer someone is to war, the less they like it. And again, I really worry. Now the CEOs don't. They don't.
they may not think about it, but they don't love war. Like... Because don't forget, they don't just sell to... to, uh, active armies. They sell, like... like, robots for, uh, bomb squads and things like that. Ah, oh, shit. No! Stop fucking up my heel with those things! Yeah, the stock market hates war. Stock market hates what's going on right now, too, but... Okay, got in a bunch of good hits there. Ah, oh, see? Probably should have taken the hit there, but that's okay. I'm doing better. I'm actually getting more damage in here. Can't reach there. You know what? I'm gonna stand here, because then... Oh, you asshole. Oh! Somewhere good. Shit. That was not somewhere good. Spawn somewhere good. Okay. Shit! Okay, good. What is happening? Oh, right. This crazy fucking shit. It's happening. Yeah, finally. See, I told you I could do it. That's a very cool ending. And this is what I wanted you guys to see because it's scary and awesome and gross and oddly sexual at the same time. X.
Ta-da! See, you have to see that. That was harsh. And then the vagina egg gets consumed by darkness. More bubbles than I was expecting. This is the best ending pre-DLC, I believe. This is sad. This part's sad. Poor bug waifu. And she must go on alone. This actually made me sad. They all just sort of like fade away, but I guess they're living in torture, so... <laughs> Okay, let's save Grubs. Oh, really? Well, I just assume it's because the job's done now, so they're not needed anymore. Momo, did you sleep through all of that? <laughs>